All right, old gatekeeper here. Uh, we just got done building a uh, 200 amp iron core uh, power supply not too long ago at all. And uh, now it's time to attempt to build a 200, uh, 200 amp uh, supply using these 30 amp switchers. And uh, with this uh, case we're going to be using, we can only fit six of these bad boys in there. And we're going to keep our fingers crossed and hope that we can get uh, 200 amps out of six. Uh, most uh, most builders use about that much for 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 uh, eight eight transistor amps. So uh, we're going to put the uh, amperage meter and load tester on, and we'll see. All right, I've got to pretty much uh, get these bad boys uh, open them up, which I've already got these three done. I got to open them up, do about two or three mods inside. Uh, these are not going to be variable voltage, so I'm going to leave the pots in. I could either do it that way or another way. I'm just going to do it this way this time. But I'm actually going to load up and put a load on each, uh, each unit while I adjust the voltage. That's about the best way to do it. All right, no gatekeeper. We'll be back. I got some drilling to do, and I've already got a template made for these six transformers. I mean, six power supplies, and we've already got the holes drilled. They can, sometimes you can do something even more accurate than you can use a measuring tape for, and we'll be back. Alrighty, I had repaired, uh, prepared six of these, and I didn't really like the uh, the uh, voltage range I was getting. See, I can go inside these units and do some uh, modification to the uh, voltage dividing circuits, you know, to get the voltage up, but I was kind of wanting to do this project without having to do that. Uh, so my problem was, is I had pretty much four of them that was pretty high in the 14s because I was wanting to try to get as close to 15 volts as possible. Um, so the problem was I needed two more at that point that was pretty high in the 14s, uh, 14 volts. So I just went ahead and um, pretty much prepared uh, four more. That's 10 right there, I believe. Yeah. So I went went ahead and prepared four more, and uh, so that that they gave it to me then. So basically, you know, I got a range right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and pick the four most highest voltage here, or you can say the four that are closer to where I want it to be, which is the highest. If you kind of look here, we're gonna probably gonna be looking here for about fourteen dot eight, as you can see. So we're going to be pretty much probably putting it right there about 14.8 to be a medium. All right. I'm going to hook this load up right here that I made and, and set the voltages while it's got about a 5 to 6 amp load on it. All righty, Mr. Gatekeeper here, right here around the northeast end of Georgia. Good morning, good night. Good evening, whatever the case may be, across the many, many time zones across the world. <laughs> well, basically, uh, what we have here is uh, we have ourselves a 150 amp supply, switch mode supply, made with six modules, six 30 amp modules. Uh, this is uh, my second supply using these uh switch mode modules here the uh the first one i did was a 100 and uh i will admit it was a, a a very tight fit in this case it was a very tight fit but uh i was able to pull it off thank god and uh th this is not a brand new case this is a uh recycled case shall i say and uh the case was in pretty bad shape, pretty bad shape. I, I went ahead and gave it a good washing and uh, scraped that metal down, man, and 
you know, smoothed it out there and got it good and clean. There's still a couple of scuff marks right here and there, just from, you know, regular use or whatever, but uh, Mr. Jigga Man, Jigga 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 Man, he don't care. He just wants it working, don't you, big brother? <laughs> there ain't nothing wrong with using some recycled cases and stuff like that every once in a while, save a little bit of cash in the long run. All right. This thing had a handle on it just like that right there. Which was a bad place to put a handle. I don't know why. <laughs> Pretty bad place to put a handle. But there was a handle there. And you know, this is a bigger switch now. So I did away with the handle. I just put some screws in there to cover up those holes. And uh, plug that hole up there and just utilize them for LEDs. Alrighty. Well. We're going to uh, do a load test, and before I do this load test, I do want to explain that um, I do not have a good dedicated 110 outlet out here. I got a good 220. I got a real good 220 dedicated, but I do not have a good 110 dedicated outlet. So basically, and another thing, which is a little issue with this. I just want to point out everything. The uh, particular plug being used on this uh, particular supply, since Mr. Jigga Man uh, wanted to stay 110 volts, is a 20 amp plug, and it's it's not like the regular default plug you 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 see in everyday use. So um, he's going to be buying the outlet himself. So I pretty much had to pretty much cook up a little uh, 110 wire and uh, put some alligator clips on the end of it so uh, that definitely is going to uh, restrict the voltage a little bit and also like I said this is not plugged into a dedicated outlet it is plugged into an extension cord so just keep all that in mind, basically just letting you know the voltage is going to be a little bit higher. The amperage is going to be a little bit better once he plugs this thing into his, uh, I think he's putting in a 40 or 50 amp, 110 uh, dedicated outlet. So uh, this thing will be uh, good to go, good to go. All right, we'll do a load test and then I'll take the, uh, the top off and let you take a look, quick look inside of it. All right, let me get everything set up and I'll be right back. Alrighty, we're here, uh, got everything hooked up here, did a load test. Alright, um, I'm just going to kind of show uh, both meters, and as you can see, they're pretty much right on line. And I set, I set all these uh, modules exactly at 14.82 volts, and I mean, <laughs> they are right on point. Right on point. Alright, and like I mentioned... This is not on a dedicated outlet. This thing is pulling like crazy. It's dimming this light. Um, the way I had it hooked up earlier, I was throwing a breaker every time. So I, I don't think we're going to be able to get the full 150 amps. I'm probably looking at about 120 on the setup that I am. Because when I, when I first set all this up, I didn't have all these, all these plugs and wires set up for, for high amperage uh, pull on these 110 volt devices and pretty much the majority of everything I run here is either on 220 or pretty much that 100 amp supply over there which is plugged uh, directly into the wall but um, this bad boy right here is, is pulling some juice on, on the primary, no doubt about it. <laughs> and uh, so uh, I hate it. I really wish I, <clears throat> I could just plug this bad boy into 220 so I could really show y'all what it can do. Um, but uh, Mr. Jigga Man needed this to 110 volts, so it's going to work well once he gets it and gets it plugged into his dedicated outlet. He'll be able to give this thing all the current it needs because I just do not have what it needs 
to perform proper. And hopefully I won't throw a breaker here, but you will see the light begin to dim. All right, now I'll just ignore the, uh, the beep there. We're just gonna kind of slowly go up. The uh, voltmeters on the box seems to be pretty accurate. Pretty accurate. All right, we're about 80, 90 amps, no problem. And volts are starting to drop off now. We're at 13.8. This this light back here is dimming pretty pretty bad. I'm going to stop it once it gets down to about 12. Alright, well that's about 150 amps. Up oh, there we go. <laughs> All the lights is off. Because I have just tripped the damn brain. See, so I had to show you right there. I do not have the current. I'll show you. When Mr. Gatekeeper says something, he ain't saying it just for the fun of it. I have got to find my way out of here to go reset this breaker oh god i promised myself that i was going to do all this in one video all right y'all bear with me let me find me a lighter okay i got a little bit of light right here all right i can see where the front see y'all gonna walk in here with me real quietly we're gonna go reset this breaker and come back out and pop the tins on it what y'all think about that right there? Keep this thing all natural. <laughs> and the breaker is not in my room. press pause and get everything set up I'll be back alrighty sorry about that I figured out what it was it didn't blow the normal breaker it usually blows this time it blew the main breaker <laughs> it shows you right there man this thing is uh needs more juice on the uh on the 100 and 110 slash 120 side. So this thing's definitely uh definitely overkill, no doubt about it. You got eight gauge uh, wires going to each uh, ground and positive. I decided to go with the uh, bus bar configuration of uh, paralleling these things together on this one and uh, these bus bars are not phenolic board they are actually let me go ahead and grab one right here piece that i've cut off let me see where it's at i threw it in here earlier there it is There's a piece of it right there. That is a uh, pure copper. It's kind of hard to see. I ain't got really good lighting right here. See the oxidation there, the green oxidation on there. Yes, yeah, pure copper. 
So I went ahead and rolled with the uh, pure copper buses on this thing. I want to give a shout out to Mr. Lawnmower Man for them, uh, them uh, pure copper buses. Appreciate you, big brother, Mr. Lawnmower Man. The man that knows how to transmit gatekeeper technology for over four to five hours straight with water cool technology. I think he's going to be working on some kit soon. Oh, Mr. Lawnmower Man, we'll keep you all uh, updated with that. A little lawnmower, man. That joker uh, kept the Texas Star that I uh, converted down to a 667 down to a 500. I think he uh, kept that thing keyed up for pretty much about four hours straight. Playing uh, the Alex Jones show. Uh, pumping about six, seven hundred watts on the peaks of the voice. Four hours straight. I don't think it even got to a, to a hundred degrees. Water cool technology, man. <laughs> anyway, it is what it is. Uh, definitely went a little bit overkill on some of the wire sizes, but a uh, hey, overkill is never a bad thing. Here's the back of it. Got you some brass wing nuts there for you, man. Oh boy. At least I can tell that right there that fuse is big enough. <laughs> Didn't put a breaker before it popped that. That's a 20 amp fuse right there. These switchers say, you know, on the back, and they got an internal fuse that is 6.3 amps. Six dot three amps. I know that is the absolute maximum, but and uh, there's no way, you know, it's going to pull that. I mean, if you think about that, that would be six times six. I mean, and we know this thing ain't pulling 36 amps on the 110. Um, but it did throw a 20 amp breaker just then. Hmm. Well, there you go. All right. I'm sorry about the lighting, y'all. Um. My crazy self, I, I load tested it again off video and I was just looking at the, uh, the 120 volt on the, going into the box. I was just kind of seeing what it was doing and, uh, it was, uh, actually at 114 volts and, uh, I turned it up a little too high and I didn't blow the main breaker. I blew the breaker in the other room and I was like, ah, screw it. I need to get in the bed. I ain't going to worry about it. I'll reset it tomorrow. <laughs> well, all right. I'm going to get this uh, tins on here. The only other thing I'll explain is I uh, uh, got some uh, 30 ohm resistors on these fans. Because, of course, you know, with the internal fans on these switchers, you don't even really need any fans. So this just helps keep a little extra air flowing through. And uh, so, so, you know, so I wouldn't have to wall off any holes you know i said you know what i'll just put four fans on there and we'll back them down so i got them back down to about eight volts okay so that's putting about eight volts when this thing is sitting at 14.8 so it's uh knocking it down to about eight volts and the and the fans are uh pretty quiet not not too loud at all so i decided to go that route with that all right mr jigger man let me get this top on here, man, tomorrow when I wake up and uh, get the screws in it, man. Package this thing up and get it out there to you and get it sent out there to the sand pile. Oh, yeah. Utilizing them switchers. <laughs> Old gatekeeper out here around the northeast end of Georgia. God bless. Just something like this, uh, uh, Something like this you need? Just give me a shout. 3manpro at gmail.com T-H-R-E-E-M-A-N-P as in purple R-O at gmail.com or info at gatekeeperamps.com Whichever one's fine.
Let's see. Oh, give a shout out to Mr. Real Deal. Mr. Real Deal DC Power. Take a look at this, big bro. Remember them plugs? <laughs> That's a 20 amp, 110 volt plug right there. 20 amps. Five amps more than you normal. And uh, there you go, Jigga Man. I know you wanted to, needed to see a, you can easily just go up to Home Depot, man, and buy just a simple replacement, a dual replacement to replace what you got going on already. And uh, so there she is, man. Show that right there. Shout out to you, Mr. Real Deal DC Power. That's who I got this plug, this old wire from. <laughs> Alright, y'all have a good one. We gone now. Okay, keepers gone. Bye-bye. 73.